Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Blade and welcome back to Prison Architect Psych Ward DLC. Now, in the last episode, we had just started uh, planning everything out and now we're in the process of building what we've planned out. Uh, and in between episodes, I cooked some barbecue pork and I was dancing also to uh, some good old classic 80s music. And let me tell you, that really pumped me up, even though I only slept for one hour. It's a long story, I'll get into it later. Um, it just it really it woke me up. I'm feeling a lot better. And that's always good, because that means far more entertaining uh, video for you guys. Maybe I should just dance more often, you know? Like, Alright, it's time for me to go freaking do an episode, but I feel super tired. And then just like, pop in Maneater from a hall of notes and just start dancing good good plan if you ask me honestly it's, there's some good dance music right there am i what do you mean blocked what do you mean blocked freaking is it because of that that is it is because of that okay well this is gonna be weird just uh add this little doodad there god the freaking <laughs> those construction workers are gonna be like that god dang Architect don't know what the hell he's doing does he <laughs> and I'm just gonna be like you know what shut up <laughs> Shut your damn mouth, okay? Um, okay, so apparently this prison's gonna be made out of concrete which I'm entirely okay with um, I know that you can Do it out of like a white wall or like a classy burgundy wall or a green wall Whatever you can do it out of these and then go over it with either one of these and it'll kind of it'll make the building but you'll have those walls I know you can do that but that's just you know I think it's what more expensive for one but two is just it's more uh, work <laughs> and nobody need that you know what I am okay cool uh, give our prison a bispoke look I don't even know what that means um, so we can have either paving stone or we can have stone stone, which is pretty nice, or concrete tiles, um, which is pretty nice. Uh, so I like to go with stone walkways personally, so that's what we're going to do since I like that. Um, if you don't like it, uh, I suggest you get over it, okay? Or else I'll get Bruce over there to come visit you. And uh, he'll have a nice, stern, and uh, firm talk to you, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, you know what I just realized? Uh, I built all this crap. <laughs> but I don't even have a, uh, a storeroom, a storage facility of any kind, which is a problem. So let us get to work on that. Um... What is this made out of brick I think I think it's made out of brick uh, so let us just kind of it doesn't have to be a huge storeroom right like that'll work like what do you mean freaking block don't tell me it's freaking blocked okay there that that should work I think probably it, it's fine it, it, it's fine it's fine okay <laughs> so anyways now we want to add some doors around otherwise our workers are gonna start getting locked Locked away. Okay, so staff door, we'll just add it right there. And then this is the main entrance. We'll need a staff door right there. Uh, already got doors there. And this is the prison part. So I'll need a large jail door here and here. And then a just a small normal one here. Cool. Uh, and then just speed up time because they're taking way too dang long, you know, but I mean to be fair We're talking a crew of six building Really large buildings in just a day in just a day's time. That is fantastic if Crew members like that Really could work that fast and productively. Holy crap. The world would be way more advanced right now buildings would have completion dates like that um that was me snapping in case you couldn't hear it either way uh let's see here um now i'm not gonna waste a lot of money 
on putting grass and stuff down and fancying up the place like I like to normally do because what I notice as I do that and then I have no more money to build stuff I actually need so all the beautifying of this place will uh, will happen when I actually have money for it uh, until then you know it's it's gonna have to wait so right now I need to um, pause because I forgot something there we go I totally forgot so I preemptively turned off my phone and set an alarm <laughs> for the episode so everything is good now what was I doing electrical cables right okay so we need one going straight through here um, that's good because that that'll be for the metal detectors and then this can just connect right through here just like that I like it like it a lot as a matter of fact um, and then we can just do this I think and that'll probably reach everywhere maybe will it <clears throat> there that should actually work and then we'll make this go directly there make sure the warden has plenty of power how are we doing here um, we're we're gonna probably overload this actually fairly soon so let's add a few more capacitors all right, cool. Also, let's take a look at uh, grants and stuff. Is that on this one? No. It's on reports then? It would have to be. Grants, here we go. Okay, so basic detention center. Turn an empty field into a function in prison. Um, gives you funds necessary to build the absolute minimum f facilities uh, for your prison uh, view. Okay, so I'd have to build a holding cell, a shower, a yard, kitchen, canteen, uh, hire at least two guards and hire at least two cooks. Oh, that's right. I haven't built the kitchen yet um, Well, we get 20,000 up front, so we might as well take this one and then this one uh, Every prison blah blah. So I need two offices hire a warden um, Unlock finance through bureaucracy and then hire an accountant easy Easy peasy. I can do that one. No problem. And then oh, I'll also need a staff break room um at some point which I completely overlooked now that I think about it uh, which is kind of frustrating uh, normally I like to build them into these kind of places but uh, yeah like I said I, I overlooked that or um, everybody could go through whoever's office this is and just like <laughs> be like hey Jerry we're, uh, we're we're coming in Oh, oh I'm still in super fast forward that's my bad um, okay, so I want to build these walls still. So let's uh, finish that part up. Actually, I'm thinking here. Uh, no, no, no. Well, we'll keep this as the storage room. And then the staff room, I could build like right here. No prob. Actually, right across the way. So yeah, we'll do that. Okay, um, so I need walls, um, which these are all doors. There. What the frick's a Utani wall? Build walls with a high tech look. Utani. What the frick? I don't know. I'll have to build that later to, to figure that out. But we want brick walls so right now. Just keep it the same uh, with the rest of the building. Otherwise, it'd be kind of weird. Uh, just saying. You know, you, you'd, you'd weird Bruce out. He's very anal about, uh, about these kind of things. Uh, in case you're wondering, Bruce is one of our security guards but he's not one that you'll see walking around he's actually like a top secret agent kind of uh, security guard he's always doing things in the shadows uh, much like a roadie really uh, if you ever listen that sounds really weird um, if you ever listen to Tenacious D and uh, their songs about roadies pretty similar uh, you know the roadie he, uh, he makes the rock go. Uh, so there you go. Uh, we'll keep it staff, I guess. Staff door there. And here. Bam. One more. And flip it around. I like the door handle being on the outside. Doesn't matter. I don't actually know. Um, but there you go. There you have it. I mean, I really don't know if it matters. I think it's just aesthetic. An aesthetic thing, probably. Anyways, now we need to set these as rooms. So, um, first off, we are going to need um, not 
staff room, which is what I accidentally um, looked at last time, but it still worked out anyways. Uh, but office is what I want, yes. So here we go, 4x4 four four office, and then I'm going to have to fill them up with stuff, all kinds of cool things. Um, but most important uh, that we'll work on first is the warden's office, because the warden... I mean, he's the boss, you know, that crazy doctor. Uh, what was his name again? It was something like Slughorn or something. Uh, once we hire him, it'll, it'll say his name and then I'll be like, oh yeah, I remember. Um, but first things first, uh, I got to fill this with stuff. So purchase missing objects. So he wants his desk, just like, right. Uh, that's, that's a shame. I would really like that to be nice and center. But uh, we can have it like that. And then chair, we'll have like that. There you go. So he can look out. He can look out still. And then filing cabinets, he's gonna need a few, cause you know there's a lot of a lot of people he's gonna need to uh, keep watch over. And then the sofa. Uh, oh, crap. I didn't think about this part, did I? Um, maybe I should move his desk in the corner then. Cancel this. Cancel all this. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Let's try that one more time. <laughs> It'll work this time. Um, he's actually going to have a a corner spot. <laughs> he much prefers that, as a matter of fact. Uh, makes him feel not more cozier. He's kind of weird about that. Um, he's like he's like uh, one of those people who just likes living in their basement because it makes him feel cozy, you know. And then he doesn't need it, but let's give him some windows and stuff too. Uh, I don't know. Oh, where those are um, let's see here uh, cost improve sell improvements I think it would technically be in that um, he likes books you know let's let's give him some books let's give him a bookshelf um, not here but like right like right here maybe well let's do the windows first let's get that started window large isn't there yeah glass there we go so we'll give him a large glass window they can look out um, right outside right there it's really nice and fancy we'll give them another one like right here give them a nice view of what will be a little garden maybe uh, I haven't really decided right now um, we could do another window right here uh, th this one's weird it, it likes doing certain things like and also is that like if this was for a cell improvement, is this good technically? Because it's on the inside? Or would you technically want it on the other side? I wouldn't know. I think that's enough. Um, enough of those, uh, personally. So let's give them a bookshelf. I always hate these because I'm like always worried I'm not going to get it quite right. Okay, so there's a bookshelf. And then, uh, because I, I realized I forgot, I'm going to want to put um, a bunch of... Okay, they're not in this. But I want to put down uh, sprinkler lines because we don't want... Uh, that's a shower head, so it should be fairly close. Oh, no, we're in cell improvement. Uh, we're going to have to go from A to Z, and I think it's faster to go this way. Okay, here it is. All right, whoops, what I do? <laughs> that's not what I meant to do. Cancel this. Cancel! Cancel, you fool! Okay, and we'll want sprinklers, um, like definitely in here, in case this goes kaboom. So put one right there, and then I don't think you need one in here, but I'm going to put one in there anyways, just in case. And then we'll have some in our storage area, just so that things we've purchased don't get ruined in a fire. And then, by code, you're actually supposed to have a sprinkler in every single room. So let's do that. Let's make this one a little more center. Um, cause that is way off center. So, okay, there you go. And then sprinkler there. And again, code, it all depends on what state you live in. Actually, it even matters what county in the state you live in. Like, if you've ever looked at the map of, like, <laughs> of, uh, state building code regulation things, it's, it's ridiculous, uh, quite honestly. It's, uh... It's stupid <laughs> how many different little 
I mean, there's probably like an overarching, like if you do this, you'll cover most standards, but uh, it, it gets really, really retarded how just there's little changes all over. There should just be a strict countrywide building code. Well, I guess I see why that wouldn't work because there's different like blue stripes. Well, let's do blue. Blue is supposed to be relaxing. Um, but they're supposed to, there's different areas in the United States, like some are more er earthquake prone or, or tornado prone. So I could see why it's not all the same. So I don't know. I'm just saying it's, it's, a, it's a big hassle if you're building stuff. Um, nope. Cancel. Whew, that was close. Okay. Um, I'm going to finish up the cell area. Um, I'm not going to make it operational yet. I just want to get all the walls and stuff, uh, put in there. Well, maybe not the beds. We'll wait until I'm actually putting people in there to do that part. But I'll get the doors ready. And, uh, I need to build a staff room still. And a canteen and all that good stuff. And how much money do I have? Uh, a decent amount, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, because I, last time I actually played this seriously... Oh, wait, hold on. What's going on with this hallway? Oh, and I forgot solitary. God dang it. Ah, so much crap. So much crap you gotta remember. I'm gonna have to already tear down some walls and start building things. Like, solitary can go... Um... It can go... I don't know. We'll figure it out, okay? Don't freak out. We'll get solitary all figured out. Just not right now. Um, and then we can do... Let's do... <laughs> let's do a high-tech thing right here. Just for funsies. Because why not? Right? Like, you gotta have fun with it. <laughs> I don't know what that's gonna look like. But I guarantee you it's gonna look different than... Maybe some other people's builds. So there you go. Um, also, now that I have all this built out... Uh, let us go to planning... And we'll go to erase plans and just get rid of anything that's still like here that's gonna annoy me. Blam. Okay, cool. Looks a lot more clear now. Uh, now I just need to hook up all these sprinkler heads to actual water. So, uh, we need a large pipe going... Uh, I guess the most efficient way would be like this. Probably, <laughs> I'm gonna guess. And then like this, for these, that was a little too long, but I don't give a crap. We'll add, th whoa, whoa, what are you doing? What, are you, what, you're crazy. You're crazy, pipe. And he's like, I'm not crazy. You're the one who put me here. And I'm like, don't back talk me, pipe. Okay, you an inanimate object talking fool. Oh my God, I need to take my meds. And then everybody's like, Warden, are you okay? And I'm like, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? I'm a man on the edge. <laughs> we got a bunch of psychopaths arriving who want, want nothing more. I wonder if this works. This should work, right? Then to just skin you alive is horrifying. Are you not afraid? Because you should be. <laughs> and that's just everybody starts backing away. And it's like, okay, yeah, he needs his meds. Somebody quickly get him his meds. He's creeping us all out. <laughs> and, uh, it's just good times. It's good times. Anyways, I need to hire the warden. <laughs> uh, hire staff. Okay, we need the warden. And uh, I forget your name. What was your name? Dr. Slugworth. I knew it was something to do with the slug. Hello. Um, let me view you, I guess. Um, I don't, okay. Doesn't really show me anything cool. I could do L3 to follow him. Whatever that means. It's like, oh man, I'm in my office, I'm all alone, and I'm, I accept more psychopathic, criminally insane inmates, because I love them, and I think everybody deserves a chance to be reformed. And you know, that's quite honorable, really, when you think about it. But maybe he himself is a little bit off his rocker, perhaps. I think he's a bit daft, really. Okay, so, now we want him to research... Uh, is it in bureaucracy? I think it is. Uh, we wanted him to research... Was it finance? I can't remember. 
Or was it? Um, ah, crap, I can't actually remember. Hold on, let's let's go look at the... Wait, where was that? Was that over here? Yeah, grants. Okay, let's look at this one, and it says finance. Yep, okay. So, we'll make you... Wait, oh, that's the wrong thing. That's prisoners. God dang it. Um, bureaucracy. Whoops. Whoops, it daisies. It took a little bit, but I got there. Okay. Um, bureaucracy, bureaucracy. What? I'm not seeing this anywhere. Or is it finance? Oh no, what am I doing to myself? It's finance. <laughs> I'm like melting my own brain somehow. I don't even understand how it, how it's possible, but I, I did it anyways. Maintenance! Um, yes, this is very important. I want this one. Education, not so important right now. Health, uh, definitely want that. Um, I want micromanagement too, but it won't let me get to that right now. Wait, hold on. Maybe this is being goofy. There we go. Gives you the tools to micromanage aspects of the prison, which I really like. So I definitely want that one. Let's just do, you know, let's do all this. Yeah, and deployment. Uh, I think I've queued everything I can queue up right now. Okay, so you're busy. You're going to be a busy beaver for a little bit. Um, and also... Ooh, pardon me. Oh, that pork chop. Delicious as it is. Coming back up a little bit. Uh, in the in the form of burps. <laughs> but anyways, wow, that does look kind of high tech. It's all like robotic and stuff. People are gonna come <laughs> to visit their uh, their loved ones and look at the walls and be like, "Ooh, maybe this key in this cake isn't the the greatest plan." I mean, look how look how high tech these walls are. It, it's pretty high tech. I bet they got security everywhere. I I, I don't know. I I doubt I could sneak anything in now. And uh, the guy in the in the jail cell, you know, who's being visited, he'll be like, no, no, it's it's fine, it's fine, it's totally fine. Just you know, give me the cake. They're like, no, I, I don't think so. Uh, look at these walls; they're they're not from pl the planet Earth. They've got to be alien tech. They're so high tech. There's no way. I, I I'm not doing this. It's it's not happening. And the guy just gets really frustrated, um, and you know, all because of the deterrent that is. Um, my my walls. What's going on here? Do I need to put some power going this way as well? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, but we finished the research uh, finance, so that's good. Also, I guess we just don't have any light bulbs in here. Uh, oh, because <laughs> everywhere where they're going to be placed, <laughs> a wall went up. That would uh, that would hamper that. Yeah. Okay. So let's by hand, I guess. Uh, put up some lights, but I gotta find them first. Ugh, my private eye is watching you. My private eye watching you. Don't copyright me. There we go. Lights. Man, ugh, hollow notes. So good. Freaking love their stuff, man. Uh, I highly recommend you you listen to them if you if you haven't heard them before. Which chances are you've actually heard their stuff. Because they had quite a few number one hits for a while there. Um, okay, let's just go ahead and get to work on the shower area. So we want to go to rooms. And let's see, what do we want? We want shower right there. Here we go. And we just want this whole room. Blam! Shower. Excellent. Uh, and then the shower must meet these minimum requirements before it can be used properly. Shower head. Okay. Well, that's not too complicated, is it? Uh, well, we're going to put this uh, in the back for now. Also, you want them spaced out. Whoa, whoa, what the frick just happened there? Oh, no, it just happened. Um, you don't want them too close, I learned. Oh, wait, hold on. We could do hot water. Provides deserving inmates with a nice hot shower. Don't forget to add a drain. Oh, that's cool. It's a little more expensive. By a little more, I mean it's a lot more expensive. We'll just put those in storage. But it'll keep our inmates happy, and I mean, when you have a bunch of psychopaths <laughs> everywhere, you want them happy, okay? You don't want another Joker situation coming about and just, uh, it's, it's just not something you want. Okay, so anyways, that's one, two, three, four, five. That's enough for five guys, which isn't a lot, uh, to be perfectly honest, but 
Um, we're going to put this here like that. Darn it. That really... Spacing-wise, this could have been done a little bit better, to be honest. But it's it's fine. We'll, we'll make it work. Um, because I can do this. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Check out my masterpiece. Okay. And... Wait, wait, yeah, yep, that's where I want it. Okay, cool. There you go. You're jealous, ain't you? You're jealous of my mad architect skills. <laughs> um, and then we'll put one right there. And we'll just do the same thing right here. And this will be, you know, this, this little quadrant will be the danger zone. <laughs> where sketchy things sometimes kind of happen. But you just, you look away. Because you really, you just don't, you don't want to see. <laughs> you just, you know, you pretend it's not happening. So it's not, it's not happening. And you cover up your ears. Um, you whittle away a soap bar to make, you know, two makeshift earplugs. And you just, you don't listen. <laughs> you just, you don't, you don't want to hear it. You really don't. Um... <laughs> God, that got really just horrible, didn't it? Uh, my bad. Uh, so anyways, there. Pipe's all done. That should work. Um, I just got to make sure everything gets installed correctly. And uh, this is all the time I have for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe. Comment down below on what you thought of this episode. And as always, remember to keep the flame alive. 